Welcome to these first two units. We talk first about the geometry of space. René Descartes in 1637 has introduced coordinates merged algebra with geometry. We always distinguish the plane, two-dimensional plane. Two-dimensional plane has only two coordinates or space when you have also a third coordinate. That's a notion which allows to compute with geometry. If you have two points in space, we can compute the distance between those, these, these two points. If you look at the set of points which have a fixed distance to a given point, we get a sphere. Sphere of radius r. I want to talk about the completion of the square. So the completion of the square can be done also in higher dimensions. And so these are the five points for unit one. <clears throat> Vectors are objects given by two points in space. But we also write, we don't distinguish between row vectors in this course and column vectors. So these are operations which also make geometric sense. Like if you have V and W, you can add them up. And so we get V plus W, which is a, this vector here. <coughs> and we can subtract them, V minus W. Then you have a product between vectors. The product is, however, a scalar, so that's the dot product. But the length of a vector is actually just a, this is the distance between p and q. So we can express the length. We can say v squared is just v times v. So let me just, let me just take v over v. <coughs> direction or unit vector if v is not equal to zero. <clears throat> but what is really very nice is that we can get with a dot product, we can compute angles. Uh, we have cauchy schwarz Now we can define angles. We have two vectors, I can define the angle between them. So that's the cosine function. So we can uniquely define for every number between minus one and one, we can uniquely define an alpha value, the Alkashi formula. <coughs> and the last thing I want to talk about is projection. <coughs> so that was unit two.